Hey guys, so today I'm filming an updated version of my old video, uh, my aesthetic and school supplies, but this is an updated version, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So this is my pencil case. I got it off of AliExpress and it's actually really big and can fit a lot of things and it's also really really adorable, very sturdy and it's plastic and it has a zipper at the top. So starting what's in my pencil case, these are my go-to highlighters, the Zebra Mild Liners. They are the best and um, they come in so many different colors. They're super, super great because they are dual tip and I have like three packs of them. And basically what I do every week is I take two colors that um, can be used in a theme together. Second are pens. I have three black pens and one white pen, but here I have the iconic black Muji pen and the hype is real guys because this is, I mean, it's a great pen. It writes on so smoothly and the color is great. Um, I would caution you on smearing though because I have many times smeared it. So just let it dry before uh, touching around the paper. And then this is just a pen that I got from a stationery store that I thought was really cute. So here are my brush pens. This is a Pentel Touch Food brush pen. It works super duper well and it's a flexible tip so it makes it really easy to write headings. And then here I have the Tombow Furunosuke. Uh, don't know if I said that right at all, um, but this is also a really great brush pen. Um, this one is just, the tip is slightly harder than the Pentel Touch. So um, if you want a more flexible tip, go for the Pentel Touch. If you want a more sturdy tip, go for the Tombow. Here are all of my pencils. I got all of these from a stationery store. These all work super duper well. Honestly, these do the job well and I recommend getting the ones with the grips because they're more comfortable to write with. So I have some lead. This is 0.7 lead and I also need some 0.5 because these pencils, some are 0.7 and some are 0.5. And then lastly, I have this high polymer eraser, you know, the one that like <laughs> all like artists use, but um, it's a super nice eraser, so go for it. So for folders this year, I did a very minimalistic design uh, because I kind of wanted a clean look. I just wrote the subject in this like little center of the folder and then I put a cute little bunny sticker and all of my folders are like that. And these are all paper folders. They feel really, really sturdy and I'm sure that they could last me a good while before they start wearing out. Here I have two of my five notebooks that I decorated. So I went with a colored theme for all my different subjects and I just kind of went ham on decorating this year because I really wanted them to look good and yeah. These are the Mead notebooks. They're 70 pages and I used these last year too and it has really nice paper. Like it's really smooth and it doesn't bleed through that easily. For this, I'm not really sure if this counts as a school supply, but I do bring this to school. This is my bento box lunchbox. It is um, just a very simple box like that. I bring my own lunch because I personally do not like the school lunch, but if you guys want me to make a video on what I bring to lunch to school every day, um, please let me know. I like this box because it's really, really sturdy and it's also very, I really like the pattern. Last but not least, I have my notes format again. I have changed it up a little bit this year. Um, here is actually my Korean notes. Uh, first of all, I have just a very simple layout and then I have practice usually on the back. I like to keep my notes really simple and clean. That way it's easy to like 
sift through and look over but it's also aesthetically pleasing to the eye these are all my korean notes and then here are some notes that i sampled for my upcoming ap us history class this year i changed up the heading a little bit because last year i just had notes and it also looked bad because i sucked at calligraphy so here i just picked one word to make in calligraphy that I uh, lettered with my brush pen and then I used my pen, my black pen, to write the rest of the heading um, and then here I have the period and the date of the period but if you're not doing a history class you can put the section or the chapter or whatever you're taking notes on and then here so it's still very similar to my notes format last year but I will just update you guys on it so um, all my headings are I put them in this like little box kind of situation for a bullet point I just use you know the regular bullet point and then if I need to go more into detail I will put an arrow and then if I need to go more detail into that I'll just put another arrow so I just keep on using arrows um, and then if I have a vocabulary term I write down the vocabulary term then I underline it with my highlighter and then I define it and then important parts I also highlight with my highlighter, <laughs> obviously. And then, so here I use Spanish conquistadors as an example, since there were like multiple conquistadors, I would, that's when I would use this kind of heading because it's kind of like a main idea, but it also has uh, also like big topics under it. And that's when I would use that. Also with people, I also underline their names and then yeah that's pretty much it you can use this to apply to any notes you're gonna take and yeah so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed my updated my aesthetic in school supplies video i hope you all do great in school and you're gonna have a great year work hard and yeah um thanks so much for watching bye